to chapter 30. So this is called The Infiltration of the Past. Some years ago, the part of the church put in charge of protecting it was actually infiltrated and went corrupt. This was the guardian's office, and it almost crippled the church and was finally disbanded completely. The idea of the guardian's office was Mr. Hubbard's was Mr. Hubbard's, but due to the infiltration, the GO turned into something horrific. Do you know who stepped up to stop this fearful en entity? Mr. Miscavige found out that the guardian's office had gone rogue. He decided to take action as a Scientologist, a C organization member, and because he knew it must be done. This is a statement um, by Mike Rinder under penalty of perjury in the United States. And he states, I, Michael Rinder, hereby declare and state, he, David Miscavige, overthrew what was at the time the most feared and powerful group in Scientology. That they were feared is exactly why they had gone so far in contravention of church policy as they were only answerable to themselves. That was by Mike Rinder, still under penalty of perjury in the United States. So what happened in the Guardian's office after it was infiltrated was horrific. Some Scientologists were being beaten, pestered, blackmailed, threatened, dismissed, expelled, declared suppressive for questioning their authority, and more. I'm not defending what happened to I'm not defending what happened to people when the Guardian's office went rogue. That's why L. Ron Hubbard ordered their eradication of it. The Guardian's office was the complete opposite of the true postulation of Scientology. David Miscavige made it his responsibility to handle the eradication of the Guardian's office. Mr. Miscavige went through administrative, personnel, and even disaffected Scientologists to sort things out. Right? So he literally just, you know, disbanded it completely. Went through so many different avenues to get it done. Again, this is another statement from Mike Rinder, under penalty of perjury in the United States. I, Michael Rinder, hereby declare and state, he, David Miscavige, did not seek high-profile position, a pro high-profile position, or attempt to take over, quote-unquote, the church. He was happy to have those who were charged with running the church continue to do so and have no part of it. This was made under penalty of perjury in the United States by Mike Render. Mr. Miscavige destroyed it by exposing crime, aiding the ethics and justice procedures of these individuals, reporting incidents to law enforcement, contacting Ellen Hubbard for further instruction on uncertain situations, and handling the judicial matters they had caused. Again, this is another Statement from Mike Rinder, under penalty of perjury in the United States of America. I, Michael Rinder, hereby declare in state the overthrow of the Guardian's office began when I, what I have seen to be a virtually unending history of personal attacks against him, David Miscavige. He didn't change. He merely became a known name and a high-profile target. Again, Mike Rinder, under penalty of perjury in the United States. Lee Romini has trumped up data. She's stating that Scientology is this way nowadays. It isn't. She's just trying to scare people with this rogue effort from decades ago. Scientology transformed for the better afterwards. L. Ron Hubbard wrote advanced policies, references, and procedures to control things before they get anywhere near such levels of corruptness. It's utterly unjust that Mr. Miscavige would go through all of this to rectify the misconduct and then to be picked apart for doing so. I presume this is how Leah and Mike's mental process is. I couldn't associate with a man that states one thing under penalty of perjury and then permits the polar opposite to be declared. Mike was part of the proceedings. He was part of the ordeal, and he has stated things off record about it too. He does confirm Mr. Miscavige's courage and bravery under oath. He has validated Mr. Miscavige many times, and even though it is not obligatory, it is definitely gratifying. This is what he says under penalty of perjury in the, in the United States. Mike Rinder. I, Michael Rinder, hereby declare and state, it would shock most people that anyone, David Miscavige, would work so hard for so little material reward. It certainly gave pause to 
ABC News when they saw it with their own eyes. End of quote. Again, that's Mike Rinder under penalty of perjury in the United States. So again, as you can see, um, even ABC News saw it with their own eyes. Okay. Mr. Miscavige does care about his fellow Sea Organization members, staff members, and Scientologists. Mr. Miscavige demonstrated this by eradicating the Guardian's office despite criticism, threats, extortion, and media slamming, all for taking responsibility for something that wasn't his doing. Mr. Miscavige is definitely not in need of any ex extolment or high recognition. It would be appreciated if those who attack Scientology take issue with Scientology take issue with Scientology and those who are in Scientology to fully understand all that he has done to stop the incorrect situations from happening in Scientology. So the people that are attacking the church right now, right, they, it would only be fair, only, like the bare minimum, what they could do right now is really just look for themselves at all of this, really look at it for themselves, and see that the people that take issue with Scientology and those who are in Scientology need to fully understand that all he has done to stop the incorrect situations from happening in Scientology. So they're no longer happening now, but they keep mentioning them as if they're happening today. Okay? Criminals were in the organization. We get that. They infiltrated. They were not accepted. They were infiltrated. Okay? They're out of there now. They've been they've been arrested, they've been expelled, they've been declared. I mean, it's no longer here. And there have been policies that have been put in place to ensure this doesn't happen again. And it hasn't happened ever again. Um so perfect. And then you you can read the whole entire chapter. Basically, we go into a person that continuously says that he was in the guardian's office and that he's won all these cases or whatever, which he hasn't. And I go into all that detail in here to give you more information. Get your copy of Escaping Leah at ExposingCrimes.com. And thank you so much for tuning on in. I'll see you on Chapter 31.